Hello Aries, I am Raina Wells and I'm here to do your June predictions. We're going to take a look at all energies. Please take what resonates. This is a general reading. I am offering readings in June. So if you are interested in one, it's not on my main website because I don't offer them usually to the public. But if you are interested, send me an email at info at RainaWells.com. The info is up there and I can definitely get you in for June. All right. We're going to take a look here for you, Aries. I'm feeling that there has been um, a significant um, shift that you're having a hard time breaking through is what I'm getting. And June, um, Spirit is saying that there's some more, I know you're feeling tired, but there's some more integration, some more lessons, some more pieces of the puzzle that are going to be presented to you. Some of you may have your breakthrough finally, but I'm feeling that Spirit is really teaching you, Aries, to really learn uh, the gift of surrender. I know that's a hard one. Let's see what's going on with Aries, please, Spirit, for June predictions, please. Yeah. It's about gaining this bright enlightenment that's coming. You're gaining more lessons that are coming in to help you with this breakthrough. Spirit is saying that they know that it's been hard. I'm seeing a lot of you been affected by COVID. I know that um, yeah, that there were problems either for some of you, Spirit is saying, in your career, even before COVID, and it's just gotten even worse. Some of you are very seasonal workers is what I'm getting. They want you to pull another card here. Um, they want you to see that everything that you've been going through here, okay, is to help you see in a brand new way. Um, Whatever you've been observing here, Aries, Spirit wants you to know that keep doing this energy, keep looking, you know, um, you may feel that someone's spying on you as well, but it's not too much what I'm getting, we'll look into love in a bit, but they're saying that how you're trying to peep out behind your own veil is what's going to bring in this amazing abundant energy for you okay and what's happening here is like when you do this this is a, a card of the surrender that i was feeling is when you close your eyes you surrender you're being gifted by spirit this is like spirit this beautiful kiss on your cheek um of spirit coming through and saying yeah yeah this is it aries this is uh what i'm giving you when you surrender to your inner knowing and your higher consciousness so this is the aim this is this is what you've been wanting spirit recognizes that um but there's more uh seeking more still be curious in your spirit areas things are coming finances and um your stability are shifting a lot okay let's pull some more um it's definitely shifting a lot in your home life uh, I see some of you may be moving soon or even thinking about moving. Uh, Spirit is saying keep this curiosity going because whatever you are feeling, it is true, okay? And that may be difficult. You may have thought that this was your home. This is where you were going to settle. This is where you were going to actually plant some roots. But Spirit is saying they want you to be curious about where else that you could be going. Let's go ahead. Um, you know, what else is coming in for Aries? Wow, a lot of stuff coming through. So... Let's take a look. Yeah. Um, wow. Okay. So quite a bit coming through here, Aries. We have the poised card. The poised is um, when we try to build something up is what I'm getting from this card. Um, you know, we build up our business. We build up our, our finances. We build up our homes. And we have a vision for ourselves. And what I'm getting for you, Aries, is that you may not have thought uh, that... Uh, thank you, Spirit. The vision that you had for yourself, you really believe that that's what the vision was. But um, Spirit is saying that it's it's um, there's a higher calling for you, okay? And so they want you to change your vision into maybe what you have built up in your mind of what you thought that you're meant to be having in this life and to seek more. Spirit is going to have your back in your transition. So coming in June... Um, Spirit has really shown me with your foundations and your finances and your work is to be more curious, to surrender what you thought your path was going to be in order to gain this illumination of where your path is leading you so that you can actually get a leg up um, and spirit will back you up. Even if it's like, a, I'm seeing for some of you a job opportunity that you would think, oh, I'm not a salesperson. I can't work in this, but you know, um, 
the money's good and it's just not a, an industry that you thought was something that you could ever do, but it ends up that it's got amazing um, structure that you've been looking for, the benefits you've been looking for, or something that's in their skills that you, you didn't think that you had that can come out now creatively in the, in the job. Whatever it is, Spirit is saying, it's, they're giving you a leg up with opportunities that are coming. So they want you to surrender here, right? This is the breathe card. They want you to be in this place of just, ah, okay, I need to close my eyes. I need to allow Spirit to bring this to me. And they notice this is just a small little kiss. It's just the, it, this will come even more frequently in your life. The more that you surrender, more of Spirit can come in and bring this to you. So you're going to be um, asked to clean up your vibration come in June, especially with all that glitters, things that you thought were supposed to be for you, you know, maybe you thought that that three bedroom house was yours and now you're like, you know, maybe I should downsize and move into a two bedroom townhouse or a condo or an apartment or maybe that land that I've been hanging on to that I wanted to build, maybe I need to sell it. Like whatever it is that those dreams that we thought we wanted things have changed so much in our world spirit wants you to be brave enough to take a look at all that glitters things that maybe you know before covid before those things maybe it was a possibility but it's not a possibility now right now okay um they're shifting you for a reason okay let's see what else is coming through for aries please but i know i've got a little bit of allergies with all the um, clearing of the land there, a lot of brush and pollen. Um, I started sneezing this morning, so I'm sorry if my nose is a little <laughs> off. What is going on for Aries, please? In June, please. What is going on for Aries in June? I'm sorry if you hear my kids downstairs. They're in an online school. And my daughter's having a bit of a fit down there. Um, what's going on with Aries? Yeah, soul family. This is going to bring in your soul family and your tribe. You're ready for a higher frequency of connection. So it your path is never going to look like Aries of what you think it is. Um, spirit is selling. Like when I thought that, you know, I was a shaman and a medicine woman working with ayahuasca and plants, I never thought that was going to be my path. Ever, never, never. I was a, a corporate executive government <laughs> worker. Okay. So, um you never know what spirit has in plan for you and what your soul came here to do. So this is going to open doorways for your real soul tribe family. I feel it's been a bit of a lonely path. You're not really connecting with people in your life. Um, it may even bring in a, a new connection, a love. Um, let's see what else for Aries. What else for Aries? Yeah, you're going through an awakening process, okay? Um, it says here, energetic upgrades, a new way of being. That's exactly what your reading's about, Aries. So yeah, this is going to be a whole new way of what you deserve in your life, what you're meant to be doing in your life. You're ascending into a higher level. And so Spirit really wants you to realize that they have your back. Keep being curious. Keep seeking more. Keep following and surrendering and allowing Spirit to work in your life. What you're asking about right now, it's a no, Okay. The life, again, I keep seeing that you thought it, it is slowly dwindling um, because of the changes of the collective, the changes on the planet, that it may it may not be an, a yes right now, but um, they're showing me this path. You're walking up these stairs to kind of be struck by lightning here. This is also a pyramid that's hidden in the dark, okay, that you've... You have this massive awakening to come into the sacred land that you're rising up to something new. And this awakening is what's going to be happening in June. You're still gaining some momentum there. You're still gaining some lessons. So your point right now is to be um, more surrendered in this state. And what I'm getting, it's it's whatever financial problems that you are having. Let's pull some tarot. Um Spirit is saying it's going to be worked out, okay? It may be a little difficult. I feel some of you are having a hard time, but they're saying, let go. If, if you need to sell something, I'm really saying that. If you really need to sell the car or sell the house or sell the land or um, move in with a sibling or move in with your parents to help take care of them or whatever it is that may have seen, seemed something that you wouldn't have done in the past spirit is saying it's for a reason okay what for aries and june's please start in regards to finances and their energy 
Yeah, it's about family, as I'm saying, that the ton of cups, right? They're in your soul family and working together. We have the three of pentacles here with the four of swords. You need rest, Aries, okay? This is a time to rejuvenate yourself. I'm seeing that you've gone through a very hard time. This is the ten of cups. This is true happiness, family, relationships. And you've been wanting this ten of cups, but you have to rest and surrender. Uh, it's a real surrender for you uh, coming in June, Aries. So see, she's just laying there. And again, there's a lot of lightning. Do you see there's a lightning here? It's dark, the clouds. It's reminding me of this. This is, Spirit is saying, they're prepping you for your massive awakening. Do you see how the colors are very similar here? And the storm has um, been happening for you. You've been going through the rough patch of it. I get it. I get it, Aries. It's hard. Um, but surrender to it rest in it i know that's a hard thing to do because we think oh my god it's dark and it's uncomfortable but we've been taught in our world to put band-aids on our cuts when our body naturally heals on its own and it takes a while for that scab to fully form you know and sometimes we keep picking at it so spirit wants you to realize that this is your time to heal this is your time to seek support from family friends loved ones and to build something new we have the three of pentacles your foundation is crumbling for a reason to be built on something more sturdy here okay so in regards to that spirit really wants you to um let go uh be more um curious about what this path is bringing you i want to pull another tarot on this curious card because this i feel this is you ari and there's like a beam of light coming out of his one eye here do you see this and i feel like it's um you're starting to see a little bit of the truth you're coming out of your shell a little bit you're kind of coming out of the forest you're questioning like maybe this is happening for a reason justice is on the bottom of the tarot deck too so this is also maybe karmic cycles but it's all in, in the right alignment of what's happening. And Spirit is saying here, well, I want to give you new sight and new vision. Okay? So it's really learning. I'm going to clarify that card about surrendering more. Yeah, you're ending really toxic things as I was saying that, okay? The devil in reverse, addictions old ways of being. We can be addicted to material things. We can be addicted to stature. We can be addicted, I can tell you. I had quite the ego when I was running projects across Canada for the federal government, you know, I, you know, you get into a certain uh, group of people, you get into a way of living, um, privilege, there's, there's a, you know, you have to be humbled in our, in our, especially to follow your true soul's calling and spirit is ending a lot of toxic things. It could be, um, you know, people in your life, work, the work that you were doing, um, relationships, a marriage. Whatever it is, the cycle is coming to an end, and that's why they want you to seek more, to gain this enlightenment. They know it's painful. Oh, I'm sorry, Aries. I know it's painful. You've gone through the ringer of it here. We've got the Three of Swords. It could have been some kind of betrayal, but they're saying that you're going to heal from this, okay? Come in June. It's really going to heal in June, yeah. This is you coming into this Queen of Wands energy to really action something powerful in your life. You're going to push through this, Aries. Don't worry about that. You really are. There are new portals and doorways that are opening for you and we're going to take a look at sorry i was just looking at the um <laughs> i was looking at the time there um yeah let's take a look and see what portals are opening up for you in june what portals are opening up for aries in june spirit what portals are opening through this awakening process for aries in this um and igniting the fire of action and creativity and power real true power in their life come June this one wants to come out as well too yeah see you're breaking barriers here okay so you're completely breaking the barriers okay the sun is shining in and what seemed dead okay new life is coming forward here okay so there's definitely um something new that's happening we have the simplify your life card too so yeah this is a really difficult uh time you may have to clean your house up you may have to sell something you may have to move um you may have to you know i'm also getting that you may not have you know been one to ask for help before or to 
go to someone and be like, I really need help and gain support. You may have been very self-sufficient and it's, you know, it's getting harder now. And spirit is saying, it's okay. We all need help. We can't go alone in things. Okay. So this is really about cleaning up your vibration, simplifying your life. And they want, and you know, this Aries. Okay. Spirit is saying that you, you've known this. Okay. You know that you're supposed to be what you're supposed to be doing. It's just hard to let go of the old cycles. Let's pull some tarot on, on these new portals that are opening for you. It is hard. It is difficult. I'm not going to lie. Healing and spiritual work. You know, tarot and stuff seems fun at one point in your life. But when you really get deep in your healing, it's like, oh, how is this not real now? How is this breaking apart now? Um yeah and i feel like this is uh what's happening but they, they're really giving you the reassurance that things are going to be okay you have an action this. there hasn't been any action in this so spirit wants you to know that you are to action this in june okay there is a breaking down of a foundation four of wands in reverse okay there is um the truth that is coming forth the new truthful honest path now this this is a difficult path the ace of swords is not just about communication or a truthful path it's pr it's the most difficult new beginning it's just the most difficult new beginning that you can ever have because it is uh in you see how the sword is in the ground it is the ground of the truth of the divine it is in the truth of you know breaking through the ego and the mind of what the mind wants so this is a very difficult new beginning but I'm going to pull another card because spirit is saying that this is the outcome. Okay. That there is a very amazing, they're saying as June progresses and the more you surrender, you're going to see the light that comes forth. Okay. Especially in your foundation and your money, there is going to be a light. You're going to see something. Can you give us some healing messages here? You're going to be nurtured by the earth here. Gaia, you will be taken care of, is what I was saying with the earth. They give you, you know, the earth gives you sometimes very hard messages, but this is something that you're going to be able to do. You're going to be nurtured. You're going to be protected. You're going to have the resources that you need. Gaia, the earth gives us everything, the foundation, the home, the food. You don't need to worry about that. You are well taken care of as this is happening, okay? Aries and Spirit is saying this is so that you can emerge. This is your time to rise. It's a really exciting time. It's it's painful as it is. It's really beautiful of how you're emerging into your truest self. You may want to look up dragonfly totems as well. And if you've been seeing them, they're definitely uh, your animal totem that is here to help you. There's also lotus flowers all around that. And if you look up the way a lotus flower grows, they have to go through a lot of darkness to be able to blossom. Okay. Let's take a look at your love life. What is going on for um, Aries? What is going on for Aries in June in regards to their love life spirit? Let's take a look at your love and relationship. So um, spirit is saying there is transition in your home and your finances and things like that, but you are well taken care of. Just allow it to fall. Be okay. Surrender. It's, it's so you can emerge into something brand new. Okay, in your love life, there are drastic changes in my life right now. So what I'm getting is spirit is like, if love has been on your mind, spirit really wants you to focus more on this transition piece that you're going through right now, the, the covenant, okay? You could be in a marriage or a relationship that may be something that's turbulent. Um, it could be a, a promise to yourself. It could be whatever this is in regards to taking vows. Um, it could be somebody else that you're dealing with is in a relationship and it's causing a lot of turbulence in your life. Um, what only, you know, this is general, but spirit is saying whatever, uh, your love life, it is quite true. It is turbulent right now. And in June, um, they want me to pull one more. There will be an improvement. They're saying <laughs> someone's caught between two lovers. Okay. There will be an improvement. Give me one more spirit of the improvement. Wow. Someone's not ready for what you have to give and they've run away from this connection. Okay. They're saying the distance between us is killing me. High priestess and eternal love. So spirit wants to just validate for you, Aries, that yeah, you are in separation with somebody. Something is happening with a marriage, with the covenant. This is not for everybody. Um, if it's not a third party situation for you, there's something that's happening between being pulled in s different directions. that are causing a lot of upheavals in your love life that someone's not willing to look at issues. I'm not ready to, um, 
um, I'm running away, I'm not ready for what you have to offer. And But the Spirit wants you to realize that this is an eternal love and it's getting you into a very high, potent energy. That's why things have to break apart, okay? So love, Aries, you know, it's, it's a transitional piece for you. Um, it's not ready, this divine love yet, as of yet, but what's happening is it's definitely heightening you into the internal love vibration. It's giving you gifts, psychic abilities, more of what your path came here, what your soul came here to do, what your path is meant to be here, and that is what's happening in June so that you can emerge uh, and be supported by Mother Earth, by the Mother Energy, and be supported here by Gaia and to emerge into your truest self. Okay. Let's uh, get some animal messages for you. What do we have here for Aries, please, for June? What do we have here for Aries in June, please, Spirit? What messages, what animals would like to work with Aries in June? Wow. Earthworm. That's beautiful. Now, earthworms are pretty amazing. Um, <laughs> I love how the rainbow is here in the earthworm. Earthworms, um, they're, they're amazing because they are the caretakers of the earth. They're the caretakers of the soil. They loosen things up. They, they make things fertile. They make things ripe for seeds to be planted. So spirit wants you to realize that this is what you're doing in your life right now in June. Okay. Um, spirit wants you to realize that they're pulling you into this fiery queen of wands energy that they're really getting you ready to action in a really passionate way. Your dreams, this 10 of cups that you've been wanting. That's why you're going through this deep surrender and healing process, this purification. This is the tilling of the soil. So you've been prepping the soil. Now you're tilling it. Now you're getting it ready to plant, which is a really exciting time because then you can plant the seeds and then the manifestation comes. So you're half, you're getting to be halfway there now, Aries. You're halfway there. 50% of the work is done. I know you can either look at that as half full or half empty. Spirit really wants you to look at and be optimistic about it, that you are, you've come a long way already and there's going to be significant changes that are going to be happening in June. I want to pull... Um, some more here for you. I'm going to pull these life journey cards. I haven't done this with everybody, but I just I'm pulled to it for you. Just some, some, how are you helping Aries, please, and June Spirit? What other final healing messages do you have for Aries? I didn't pull too much tarot on this one. Um, I guess this is just how it came out for you, Aries. I'm sending you so much love. Let's see what other healing messages Spirit has. And, you know, to give you some encouragement. Yeah. They know you're fearful, okay? They know that this is scary. Spirit understands your fear of massive changes and things happening in your life. They, of, of the fear of failing, of being a failure. They want you to recognize that you're not a failure, okay? This is, this fear of failure that's coming up, Okay, do you see that? The, there's a fear of failure that's happening here. They want you to, to recognize, they know that you feel this way, Aries. They want you to realize that you're being prepared to serve and help others. So they, they want you to try and find the humor in everything. I really find this funny how these are complementing their colors. So your self-esteem and your heart. Your, your heart, find the good laugh in everything if you can to build up your self-esteem. Um, spirit, even in the darkest times, sometimes things fall apart and you have to look at it and be like, oh my God, okay, like that's just my life. Like you just need to laugh at it and try not to take it too seriously and try and find the little pieces of humor through everything and keep resting and and spirit is going to surrender and, and there's a promise here because they're bringing this up again. They're going to come and help you. They're kissing you on the cheek. They see that you're able to let go and surrender. So, all right, Aries, if you'd like a more detailed reading with me, then take a look down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm sending you so much love. Bye guys.